Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Fabian from the Paper Letter Blog and today we're opening P.O. Box Mail. Um, so I went to the P.O. Box for the sixth time yesterday and I found not one, not two, but 18 pieces of mail, which is absolutely incredible. You guys have no idea how much this means to me and that means the absolute world to me. I know it sounds very dramatic, but it just makes me very happy and I feel so lucky to have wonderful subscribers like you guys. Um, so I want to thank you all for watching this video, for supporting me and of course if you have sent me mail for sending me mail. Um, so this is actually a video of P.O. Box opening number six part two because yesterday I opened the first nine mails. If you haven't watched that yet I suggest you go do that now or after watching this video because there's some incredible meal and there are some really really good ideas and of course a lot of happiness for me so um, I will link that down below so you can also check that out. I also have an entire playlist with the Airbooks opening videos so if you like long chatty videos with a lot of ideas and a lot of fun goodies that I suggest you go uh, check out that playlist as well. Then I'm going to start with opening mail right away but I would like to ask you guys uh, to give this video a thumbs up if you like me doing uh, P.O. Box opening videos! So as you can see we also received one big par package that I haven't opened yet. We're also opening that today. Um, I'm just going to put this on the floor. I have to admit I did open a few yesterday. Uh, because I was just very very curious and I did open this one, but I haven't actually looked at the content yet I just thought it would be easier to open this one uh, from Karen from Australia. She used a really pretty Melbourne stamp I have to say I always liked <laughs> the Australian stamps and it's really fun to be receiving so many now She decorated this page with I think these are like stamps and watercolor if I'm correct and it's really really colorful and like I said, this is from Karen from Australia. I did open the side, but only to be able to take everything out more easily. Uh, so, oh, I'm sorry, I have to get into this again because I, it's morning here, Tuesday morning, and I uh, just had an hour long phone call with my mom. So I just woke up, had an hour long phone call with my mom, and now uh, it's really difficult for me to talk. And I almost forget tea. I'm having a smaller glass of tea today so I can try more than one and I want to try I've been on a hunt to try and find the best flavors of tea I'm going to start today with oh I need something this is refreshing I think I'm going with this one citrus and aloe vera organic green tea I cannot remember ever trying aloe vera tea but that sounds quite good and I love clipper tea I've said that numerous times so I'm going to start with that one and I have a small glass so hopefully I can try another one today um so I talked with my mom for an hour and um I don't know I'm still not completely awake I guess so let's get into this I've seen that her letter is here on the bottom it's on some really really pretty uh paper but obviously I'm not going to show you that because of privacy reasons and then we have a booklet from the Gro oh my Gond Gondwana rainforests of Australia oh it's actually one of those fold out flyers oh we have a map I think this is probably close to where you live maybe you tell me about it in the um, in the letter but I think that that's a really really fun idea to send your pen pal some how do you call that like tourist information booklet and then wow what a beautiful picture is this a postcard or oh, i think it's a postcard oh yeah brent randall photography oh, this is really really pretty so it's a large postcard i'm going to leave it in the plastic because this is quite a good a way of protecting your postcards it's a really really pretty postcard um and it says the road less traveled uh, it's really weird from going to talking on the phone to talking to a camera and then we have this really cute little gift bag with cute little dots on it I'm just going to take everything out I see some Australian money but of course it's not real it's oh that's fun it's actually uh, note papers I've said this so many times but I actually uh, lived 
in Sydney for six months. So I do recognize, not the hundred dollar, not the hundred one, but the five dollar one, of course. <laughs> Australian dollars. But that's really funny. It's like money and no papers in one. And I also, I have to correct something I said in one of the other videos. I said that the, there was a stamp on I, there was an Australian stamp with the Queen of England and I was confused but I learned in between that video and this video that the Queen of England is also the Queen of Australia, apparently. So, correct me if I'm wrong. The card was taken on a farm not far from where I, we live. <laughs> Enjoy your goodies. Oh, and this is something, I wonder how you made this. It looks a little bit like tissue paper but I am going to leave that question with you. And a little... Um, a little project life card which I can always use some really really cute tickets I don't know why but I love tickets so I can use these for decorating you can just tear one off and use them um, as embellishments which I think is really really fun and then oh you guys I, I really feel like I say it too often because you're all sending me hellos but I don't know why I just like pretty words hello and a whole bunch of realistic looking Stickers. We have a dragonfly. It looks a little bit like pressed paper, but it's also shimmery and sparkly. I, I hope you guys can see that. And by the way, did you notice that today is a very sunny day? So yay for natural sunlight. And some pretty uh, labels that I can use for addresses. Some more pretty note paper with peacocks. Wait, I'm just going to put this down. Wow. Ooh. I've never actually seen this before. It's like a... Okay, so for some reason that battery really died. I'm having a lot of trouble talking, but I hope I, my happiness comes across. So what I was saying is that we have this, um, before the camera caught me off, I was saying that we have this other thing you put on the mail to tell the post office that it needs to be transported by sea mail. And I only know the air mail one. Dangerous goods must not be posted. Okay, uh, but I've never seen the C-mail one, so that's kind of cool. And I wonder if I would put this on my mail, if they would also accept it. <laughs> but I can definitely use that for uh, decorating instead. Because I don't, these are actually, these are all different. They look a little bit vintage, or maybe that's just my imagination. <laughs> and pretty paper, you know I love pretty paper. A little uh, magazine clip out. Some really pretty, some sort of craft paper with a pattern on it that I can again use for decorating. Karen, for all of these pretty goodies, I will definitely enjoy reading your letter and I cannot wait to see what I can do with all of these. And by the way, if you guys are looking, always looking for inspiration like me, that meal has had so many uh, Australian, little Australian touches and Australian things and Australian money. And I think that that would be perfect for when you have a new pen pal who is from overseas to show you a little bit about their country and, um, ah, yeah, I don't know, your country where you live, just like that postcard that was also from close to where she lives, which is kind of cool. It gives me a little bit of an image of, well, not who she is, but where she is. <laughs> <clears throat> Next up, I'm going to open another one from Australia. It's really funny how they come in bunches. I have to say most of the meal I received so far is from the USA, even though I'm from the Netherlands. Um, most of it is from the USA, and I think Australia is coming in second, but I haven't kept track. I won't see where I have to open this, but first we have again uh, a really, really pretty front. The, she used excuse the person who screamed outside. She used paper scraps or paper strips and that looks so pretty. I've seen this once before, like I said, also from Australia, from Beck. And I have to say that that was so pretty. I really like that idea. I like these papers with the pretty watercolors and a little drawing of a girl on a bike with flowers. That could totally be me if I had red hair. And on the back there's also some cute stickers. Like again, Australian stickers, I wish. I wish our native animals were that cute, <laughs> but we have a, I, I hope I know them all. This is for sure a cockatoo. No. Oh my God, Vivian, this is a kookaburra. They make the strangest sound. We have a kangaroo. We have a Tasmanian devil. Please tell me I'm correct if you're from Australia. This is a wombat, a koala, of course. Oh no, this is a Tasmanian devil. That's a Tasmanian devil. I don't know about that one. This is a cockatoo. That's a... 
Oh, I know this one. This is from that stupid kid show. Oh, I forgot his name. It's something with duck or something. I forgot. Crocodile. I don't know your name and I don't know this one. I know it's not an ostrich, right? Or is it an ostrich? Okay, so you guys have to help me. Which is this one? What is his name? What is this one's name? And that one. And that one. Please tell me if you're from Australia. Help me out. And this mail is from, let me take a peek. Because I always cover up your addresses, of course. <clears throat> this one just says J McLeod. So I'm going to see inside who this is from. And again, I've said this in previous videos as well. But if you, for any reason, would like me to open your mail without a camera present, you can always write offline or off camera on the envelope. Uh, if you're, yeah, I don't know, for whatever reason wanting me to do that, then that is totally fine. Wow, look at that beautiful letter paper. This would be very difficult to use. So these, these have like all sorts of herbs, I think mainly herbs, uh, or yeah, herbs, <laughs> uh, drawings, watercolor drawings. That's beautiful. I already know which pen pal would love this. That's really, really pretty. And then we have this package which is really really cutely wrapped with some color changing um, ribbon I'm just gonna call it ribbon I love the colors of this ribbon and she wrapped it all with a nap a paper napkin carefully open it and these are my favorite flowers the height or is it a hydrangea I hope it's a hydrangea otherwise I'm full of beep <laughs> okay but it's at least it's a pretty napkin let me just say that this says tea time, which is always very exciting. Just like this. Tea time, tea time. And oh, sleep tea. Chamomile, orange blossom and honey. That sounds so good. I have said this before, but I have been on the hunt for different types of sleep tea that do not have the sandalwood. That sounds so good. No sandalwood. Can't wait to try that. Thank you. I might try that tonight. Just going to put it aside. <laughs> I will try that tonight actually. Or tomorrow night. I have to work tomorrow. That's always a little bit. It always gets my energy up and then I cannot sleep at night. Um oh kitty. It says my first design. So we have a kitty on the front. I've never actually made a design, so. Or you live in Perth. I don't actually know. Tasmania. Drawn freehand, so not very accurate. Well, I'm going to believe you anyway. So North. New South Wales is where Australia is, so that I know, haha. <laughs> and then next page, favorite magazine, Daphne's Diary. I think it's Daphne's Diary. I thought it was Dutch, but is it Australian? Because this is the third time it is mentioned in an Australian mail. Favorite shows, dreams and goals. Oh, that's really pretty. I'm off and facts about you. Um, so I'm obviously going to read all of that, but I'm going to do that later because I also don't know uh, For example your dreams if that is personal So I don't want to show that too much on camera and then we have this cute little vintage looking envelope that says bits and pieces mm -hmm. Ooh, It's filled with fun looking stuff. Oh, you gave me an Australian. Oh a few Australian stamps. These are beautiful. I'm definitely not giving those to my neighbor, the collector. I'm keeping those myself. See, I told you Australian stamps are beautiful. So I think these might be for for like um, national mail only. Oh, some pretty stickers. Oh, I love these. What a beautiful color. I hope you guys can see I'm blocking the sunlight with my arm. Pretty tag. <laughs> little magazine clip outs that's really cute that's also what you used on there oh it says something a teacup set from my collection mixed media by me you made this oh this is hand this is like i wonder how you did that on the computer that's really cool that is really really cool i cannot wait to use these some more magazine clip outs this is really oh no this is a sticker this is really, really adorable. So it's like a little envelope filled with all sorts of goodies and things that I can use. I'm especially excited about the stamps. I've never seen these before. Ah, tearing everything. 
<laughs> the real letter, which I'm going to put aside to read until later. And look at that cute kitty, uh, kitty Nari Piper. And I love this envelope. So I'll put that aside, <coughs> excuse my voice, put that aside to read afterwards. And then this is such a clever idea, by the way, wrapping a little present in a napkin, because it's probably also very, very light. And ooh, there's a bunch more things in here. I really like this. I don't know why, I really love the colors. I'm going to reuse that or put it in the subscriber mail journal. I wanna take it out without actually ripping. Aha, uh -huh, come out. Ooh, I see a postcard. <coughs> Uh, I did rip it. Okay, I'll just put that aside. Wait, I am going to quickly look at the letter to see what your full name is because I only know the first letter. Jody. Jody. Okay, now I can I can call you by your name. Thank you so much, Jody, for this very very pretty mail. Cannot wait to learn more about you in that letter. And we have a little kitty. And another little kitty, that's so cute. Should hang that in the cat cafe. Oh, some more kitty papers. That's so cute, I can craft something with this. And then we have, ooh, pretty watercolor cacti illustrations. And some of those uh, notes that you also put on the letter. That's really cute, kitty notes. Different kitties. And then we have, oh wow. All our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. Walt Disney and a monster alley. Beautiful. I think this is handmade. Or it's called philodendron. Is it? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe it's a different plant. I don't know, but it's really, really pretty watercolor. Um, postcard. And I'm going to put that in the journal. And then we have a uh, postcard with a post office on it, which is always fun pretty post office and then some more uh, printed paper that I can use and a little <laughs> little girly on the back oh that's pretty kangaroo paw again hand-drawn you are really really talented a little kettle then uh, I don't know how to call this, but it's like today was a good day and then you can tick the boxes. I was grateful. I smiled. I made someone smile. That's really really Pretty that's I'm going to put that in my normal journal and then we're still not done We have two more of these pretty cactus. Oh, oh wait, you can put this In, the, in my uh, craft room. It's like a little cactus. I don't know if I can Make him stand Meh. It's like a little cactus I, I'm too impatient to do this now, but it's a little cactus figurine that you can make uh, stand on its own. So that would make really, really great decoration for my new craft room. So thank you so much for all of these pretty goodies. I cannot wait to read your letter, get to know you a bit better. And uh, thank you for your cat kitty picture as well. It's really funny to see how similar, <clears throat> excuse my throat. It's really funny to see how, how um, I always have some sort of similarity with my viewers, whether it is um, that we both love cats <laughs> or actually this is a little bit more serious. Um, I also read in a lot of letters from subscribers that they also have anxiety and that is of course not fun. That's not fun at all, but uh, it, I am quite grateful. I am quite grateful for you guys telling me about your anxiety because I know I'm not the only one but sometimes it can still feel that way and I like knowing that my stories about anxiety and therapy can help you guys and I want you to know that your stories about anxiety and stuff also help me a lot and as weird as it may sound it's actually really surprising me to read that so many of you have anxiety as well so either you wanted to send me something because you also have anxiety or there are a lot more people with anxiety than I ever could have imagined. Hmm, this is quite good. This was exactly what I needed. That citrus is quite, quite, I don't know how to say it. It like perks me up. I'm, I'm, I feel like this wakes me up a little bit. 
I don't know what aloe vera tastes like though. Um, and then I'm going to show you one that I already opened. I opened this last night because I, I just wanted to read it. And as you can see, again, a Melbourne stamp, which I really, really like because now I can keep one and send one to my old neighbor. Uh, this one was from Megan. As you can see, I'm sorry, I covered up her address with some scrap paper and washi tape here. I know it's not that pretty, but uh, I need to make sure that I can still take it off just in case I pick your name to reply to. <clears throat> so we have this really pretty pink envelope and then she made a collage in the back with vintage paper, which I always like to do, and some other pieces of paper, which I really like. And then this funny, funny figure. I don't know if that's someone I should know, but... And then inside was a very pretty flip book. So she wrapped this with, again, a cute little ribbon. But I already, I already looked at this, so it's a little bit less uh, spontaneous, but it doesn't mean that I'm <laughs> that my happiness wasn't there. So first of all, there was a really cute letter in here, which I enjoyed reading a lot. And then she made a pocket with, I think, a Project Life card. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, that's really that's I think it's a product life card, and that's such a cute idea to turn that into a pocket. It's easy and it looks really really good. And then this actually made me giggle. It says don't stop, or I should say this the right way. <clears throat> don't stop believing. I'm probably going to regret singing. That was not my actual singing voice, okay, you guys. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that was a really, really funny uh, Project Life part and she left it loose so I can take it out and I'm definitely going to put that in a journal. And then, um, wow, there was a lot, a lot of things here, a little cranberry green tea. I do like green tea, I don't know about cranberry tea, so I'm going to, <laughs> to wow, I'm going to try that out. And then of course this really pretty, um, rose gold colored uh, some sort of paper clip which i really like i don't know sometimes i'm afraid that you guys are going to find me weird because i get so excited by things like paper clips but then i feel like you probably also understand because and what is Noos doing you will probably also understand because i am not the only one who gets excited by stationery i know that so probably you will recognize that feeling as well and then in here we have some really pretty vintage paper and some handmade paper that she bought in nepal and then i have to say in the back this paper is also really really beautiful and again a fun shaped rose gold paper clip and in here is a playlist for me to read and i will definitely check out the music you wrote here and this actually this is actually quite funny to me. It says music is the strongest form of magic and then hearts and little... It's a very cutesy dootsy, but this is actually a quote by Marilyn Manson, which is that creepy guy. He's kind of like... He makes kind of creepy music. So he's a, a little bit of a, a like badass, like black makeup and scary. And then it's like cutesy dootsy. Music is the strongest form of magic. So like that contrast actually made me smile. So I really, really enjoyed reading this. I cannot wait to try uh, to listen to your playlist and to try out the tea. So I'm just going to pop this back. Okay, now I'm actually going to open one that is from the Netherlands. Yay! Like I said, I don't often receive mail from the Netherlands, even though I am a Dutchie myself. But this time I found three or four, I think, which is kind of mm, funny. I don't know. And we have these really beautiful... Uh, winter bird stamps. I also have them, but I always find it difficult to use them, especially this one. It's kind of, when they're so pretty, you just find it hard to use. I don't know if I'm the only one. So she used really beautiful stamps, which I absolutely love. And then uh, my address is over here on a tag, which is very clever. And she decorated the page with uh, vintage uh, magazine clip outs. And I love this pink dotted washi tape <clears throat> and i'm now going to open this and see who you are take it all out in once Ta -da! Ooh, wow. oh so much here okay i don't even know where to start um i'm just going to start from the top <laughs> i think i always do that so she made this cute little envelope with a magazine clip out with beautiful flowers beautiful flowers I wonder which magazine this is. I always um, get the old, if you're Dutch, you know this, Libelle and Margriet, which is two Dutch magazines for like ladies, 
I always get them after my mom and grandma are finished reading them and I try to cut out all the pretty pages but there's never really a lot of pa pretty pages <gasps> oh I think I can show you this because oh this is so pretty you made like a I, I don't know if you got this idea from my video but uh, <laughs> this is really really fun but she made like an introduction page with her drawings i really really love that it says this is me jessica and she's pregnant oh congratulations you have two really cute kitties oh this is you're you're so good at drawing and she loves a colorful garden with pretty flowers just like lavender roses and sunflowers well same jessica same oh this is so pretty Oh, this is so pretty. I really love this. Oh, the little camera died again. I was saying this is such a cute idea to get to know someone. She drew all her favorite things, where she works, where she lives, her cats. That's really cute. I'm definitely, this is also, I keep saying it, but this is also going in the subscriber mail journal and it's, it's never all going to fit in there. So I probably <laughs> have to find a different way. And then we have all of this. This is like a little, little uh should i call it a tag flip i don't know like i really you really have to tell me where you got all of these images from and a pretty pink and gold foil tag that's such a cute paper oh oops oops that's her address i cannot flip it over then we have washi type samples but i cannot flip it over because that's her address i'm just moving this aside and then we have this okay this is working we have this large collage which i really really love a collage on the back as well so yellow on one side pink and purple on the other side and there's a little envelope here with again a really pretty uh picture oh there's some goodies in here for me have some cute little stickers a puffy sticker always love those <laughs> okay so i have to go uh bring a parcel back to the parcel center so I will do that after I opened all of this so I can wake up a little bit because this is not going right. And this was also part of the tag, but I loosened up the ribbon. Another little envelope. You made all of this yourself. And in here are some, ooh, a label, a <laughs> cute little tag. Another little tag that I really love is from Flo. I recognize that immediately. And some cute little stickers. Thank you so much for sharing all of that with me, Jessica. Ooh, just carefully going to cut that open. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, I have to show you a close up. Look, miniature, oh, focus camera. It's miniature pie slice, a miniature donut with sprinkles and a little uh, muffin. I mean, she wasn't lying when she said miniature things, little things. But they're so adorable. I love that little donut. That is so cute. I can totally imagine if I would have like a dollhouse, you know, for little kids. If I would have a dollhouse, this would definitely go in there. I'm getting all excited now. I don't even have kids. And then we have a really pretty galaxy themed paper that I can definitely use for my next galaxy themed meal. We have a Flow Lemonade sketchbook. Wow, you've sent me so much stuff. Oh, this is like to teach you how to draw, <laughs> how to draw a cat. That is <laughs> definitely the best. The best. Oh, that's so cute. I'm definitely going to learn how to draw some cute things in there. Then we have another cute little envelope. Either we, again, I've said this before, but we either have a similar style or you know me very well. Look at these beautiful stamps, floral stamps. And then some cute little tea stickers. And this is so cute, a little teacup sticker and a circle sticker. Vandaag krijg jij een papieren kusje. That means today you get a paper kiss. <laughs> That's so cute. I especially love that teacup. That is really, really cute. And then we have a huge postcard with a butterfly on it. Very pretty. 
Wow, thank you so much, Jessica. This was so much fun. It was really, really cool to get to know you through your drawing. Um, I'm now going to put all of this back and I'm going to bring my parcel back to the store. And then when I come back, I will film the remaining one, two, three, four, five pieces of mail. Oh wait, this fell on the floor. This fell on the floor, this was also part of this meal. I don't know where it came from, maybe it was still in the envelope. But these are some questions for me. My most positive uh, character characteristic, what I can enjoy fully, <laughs> what I prefer putting on my bread, and what gives me energy. Well, those are some things I can, <laughs> I'm going to need to think about for a little bit, but um, what gives me energy is definitely my job working as a waitress in the cat cafe but also ah this is going to sound very cheesy but also all of the love and all the people i get to meet through my youtube channel <laughs> so thank you guys oh, okay I, I just came back from bringing my parcel back to the parcel shop but sadly, I didn't really wake up yet. I, the problem is I went back to bed this morning because we were supposed to have like a training at work. My cat is scratching the door. We were supposed to have a training at work today. So I got up, got dressed, checked my phone, saw that the training was canceled. And then I went back to bed. And you never should go back to bed because you never fully wake up. So instead of picking out a new tea to try, I thought I would try some instant coffee because yesterday I opened a lovely package from Beckett and in there were some instant coffees. Like, I don't know, you call that instant coffee, right? Like a coffee mixture. Noose! Don't scratch the couch. So like a coffee, coffee and milk mixture. I don't know. So she sent me a few Nescafe coffee mixes and I was so excited and I thought that this would be the perfect time to try it so I thought I would try this one the gingerbread one I hope I got the amount of water right but gingerbread and I did sprinkle a little bit of extra instant coffee on the top because I usually like my coffees a little bit strong um, so I'm going to try this gingerbread one it smells very good but now that I'm smelling it I realize I should have waited with this until Christmas because it really smells like Christmas and Gingerbread, I think, is a Christmas thing, right? I don't remember ever eating gingerbread, but okay. Um, let's not dwell on that. Uh, so I'm going to try this gingerbread Ooh. coffee instead. So hopefully that will wake me up. And let us move on to the next envelope. Okay, I've got this one. I did open it yesterday. Just have to take a peek. Eleanor, of course. This one is from Eleanor. First of all, she decorated it with these gorgeous stickers and monstera leaves and this beautiful stamp from the UK which was stamped perfectly again I really like this a simple clean look but with beautiful decoration and of course I covered up her address here and in here is a little flip book and I think correct me if I'm wrong but I think you were the person who tagged me in a picture on Instagram it's very possible that I got it wrong because Someone tagged me on Instagram saying, Vivian, if you read this, don't look. But um, she tagged me in a piece of subscriber mail that she was going to send to me. So I think that this was you because I remember in a flash seeing something with cross paper and green. So I think, but possibly it wasn't you and I'm sorry if I'm mistaken, but she sent me this pretty flip book. Uh, I hope I closed it right because I opened it already yesterday because I am a curious person and I just felt like opening some mail. I'm sorry, I hope that's okay. Uh, so I opened this yesterday, but she used a, a sturdy piece of cardstock to create some sort of a window flip book, which I really, really like. I cannot believe I haven't done this before. It seems so simple, but I really like it. So what she did is uh, she decorated the front with paper scraps torn, like I always like to do, and some stickers and washi tape and craft paper. And then you open it like this, and then it has a quote here that says, whatever is good for your soul, do that. And I love that. <laughs> I'm going to try and save that quote somehow. And then more decorations. And of course, this beautiful, uh, cute little teardrop paper clip. And then this is really, really cool. This is a uh, carrot seed bag, but there's actually goodies in there. So I was confused. I thought, did she send me some, uh, some seeds? But no, she just sent me goodies in a seed bag, which is really cute. I'm going to have to ask my grandma if she has 
<laughs> any old seed bags. And then she sent me some, I think these are the same stickers, but she just cut them out. Some of those beautiful stickers that she also put on the front, but I didn't realize at first because I think she cut them out. So she sent me some of these really beautiful botanical um, stickers that are totally my style. And then some more uh, fall themed stickers, which I also really, really like uh, because I'm on a no spend. Hmm. I really have to stay on a no spend. I actually think I have to buy no more craft supplies until we move, which is March next year. So that's going to be very difficult, but I might have to put myself on a no spend for four months because I have no space. And because I shouldn't spend all my money. Oops, there's still one more sticker in here. I didn't make it out. Come out. <laughs> this is, I love it. And I of course also love the other ones. I actually have this one with the Monstera leaves myself because well, I love Monsteras and I really like this watercolor blue in green also but this one is just a little bit extra special and then this is her note to me so i'm not going to flip that open but i really like that idea and i actually got very excited to visit my grandma and see if she had any <laughs> old seed packages or my mom maybe so cute little flip book beautiful matched everything together with the envelope i really like it thank you so much and I think that this, I could have made this in style. I mean, the, the botanic, I'm, I think, I don't wanna be overly confident, but I think this could have been something I would have made with like the dark green and the botanical and the craft paper. So you totally got that right. Now I'm going to open this one, which is still closed. I think, actually by looking at this, I think that she might have used a craft paper bag to send this, to make this envelope, which is really clever because it's super sturdy. And as you can see, it arrived in one piece. So that is actually something I want to give to you as a tip because yesterday I also had someone send me something in a craft paper bag, which I think is very clever. And then we have these gorgeous stamps. This one was actually my favorite, but they put this stupid sticker on top of it. I tried to remove it carefully and then the stamp got damaged. And I was actually quite sad about that. So if you have any tips on how to remove stickers from stamps, please do let me know. Because I'm very sad that this one was damaged. Look how pretty that is with the birds. I'm not gonna dwell on it. And then, so that and then this cute address label. I'm just going to quickly check because I haven't opened this yet. I'm just going to quickly take a peek. Oh, this one doesn't, this one doesn't actually have a sender name. This just has an address. <laughs> so I'm going to look inside to see who this is from. Ooh. Oh, there's something very big. Is that a notebook? <gasps> I want to open it, but I don't want to rip everything. I'm just impatient. <gasps> wow. Happy inside. I think this was a bag, right? Oh yeah, here it also says happy inside. I think so, but if I'm mistaken, please do correct me. Wow. Oh. Wait. Emma, is this you? I don't know. I have a feeling because I see this. This is from the paper gang box, the monthly overview from December, but I didn't get this paper gang box, but I do always use these cards for my monthly overview. So I now have a feeling that this is from Emma. I'm just going to, oh yeah, it is. Oh my gosh, I should have known. Emma, you're really too kind. And I recognize this now because this is a little envelope. Moose, can you stop making so many background noises? Please. This is a little envelope tag flip, which is actually based after an idea that a mail that I sent to Emma. So I sent her something similar with envelopes of my own and this little ring. And then Emma said she would reuse it <laughs> to send me some mail. I didn't realize until now that this would be you. Do not disturb. Oh, that's so cute. I don't even know where to start anymore. So this 
is from Emma. Thank you. I will use that in my bullet journal. And then, wow, a beautiful graph notebook. Graph paper notebook. I hope I'm saying that correctly. I don't know why, but I really, really love this. Especially because when I was in high school, when I had mathematics, I also had these notebooks and then I already had some sort of obsession with them but they were always plain blue and boring and they were always the same and nowadays you have all of these notebooks with different color graphs and I don't know if that makes any sense but it just excites me. This one looks kind of gray or black and that's just beautiful. So I don't know if that's weird but I have an obsession with um, graph paper so I'm really really happy with this. Thank you Emma. I'm now going to look at your cute tag flip. I already flipped it, so I don't know if there's like something that was meant to be the front or if it's just, um, how do you, I don't know, if it's just, uh, I'm just going to start here. It says hi there with little gemstones. And then I'm going to open it. I'm really curious to see how you feel to yours. And by the way, if you want to see what I, how I made mine, no, what I put in mine, there's a video online called Outgoing Mail showing you all of my outgoing mail from was it november no i mean october or september i don't know it's in one of the two i think october but i am not entirely sure but in there i show you my little envelope tag flip and then in there is oh she made this from a magazine paper very clever oh all of these cute stickers i mean this is a tag says hey cutie <laughs> This is so cute. I'm going to say that this is Kiki K. And I looked at the back and it says Kiki K. <laughs> I don't even have anything from Kiki K just to stop you guys send me, but I already recognize it because it's such a cutesy gootsy style. Let's stay in. Oh, these are really, really cute. Can I believe you wanted to share your stash with me? Very lucky. Thank you. And two of those uh, circle stickers that you can use for closing envelopes. Wow, if I had a book like that, I don't think I would be able to, to, to share. <laughs> and then I said, I'm one lucky human. I, I say human, human, instead of human. I know it's human, but I always, we always speak for our cats and then we say, human, what are you doing? So that's why I'm saying it like that. I hope that makes any sense. Oh, cute buttons. Or is this a button or is this a magnet? I think it might actually be a magnet. Oh, I don't know what this is. I think it's a magnet, but that's so cute little buttons and with very cute she does designs and i'm also thinking that for my craft room i want to get a cork board a very large cork board for all of your cars and drawings and stuff like that and I, I also have i already have a card hanger like i don't know it's like wooden planks that you can put the cards in i don't know if that makes any sense and i got that with my christmas stamps so i already have that and I, i'm also thinking of getting like a magnet board for magnets and stuff and when i look at this it, this is like what a um a button this is actually a button but i don't know about the back yet but when i see this i feel like i also want to get a pin board so i can put all of the pins on there okay now i'm going back to the mail <laughs> i'm just so excited for my craft room so that's such a cute idea she sent me these you have to tell me what they are called because i keep calling them buttons but i don't actually know if that's true and then this pretty collage with a an uh, uk stamp and this what are you doing and oh what a pretty paper Oi. oh this is closed very well there we go oh some cute stickers in here Mmm, less house, more home. That's me. Oh, these are pretty. Pretty leaves. Pretty um, snap kitties. <laughs> Thank you for sharing all of that with me. I know that Emma recently got into doing swaps. So I'm assuming she will have a lot of supplies from all over the world. Which I always really like. And then this is so clever. She made a little, I hope you guys can see that. She made a little butterfly with uh, flower petals. What a clever idea. And then I think this is her note. So I will read that afterwards. And then another little envelope says with love. Oh man, there are so many. You really spoiled me. And in here is something very cute. Is that a washi tape sample? What? How cute is that? 
Oh, I think these are from the other paper. Oh, that's so clever. I think these, this is from the other paper gang box that I also had, the Gemma Corel one. And then she cut that out and she used that as to put on a tiny washi type sample. Look how tiny these are. So that's really cute. She decorated her washi type tags. Oh, really like this. These are all so cute. Little gold foiled, mini, miniature, tiny washi types. <laughs> and then another one, is this an actual stamp? Or is this just an image? It looks like an actual stamp. How cool. Oh, tea. Cherry Bakewell green tea. What is it with these cherry teas? I don't know what what does Bakewell mean? Does that is this like another dessert tea? Because I would be very excited to try. I like I said before, I don't know about cherry teas. I think there's another cherry tea in here. I will have to oh, this one, cherry flavor tea. I will have to try that so I can tell you if I like it or not. I will put it in straight away. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so I'm going to try that, and then we have another little pocket with a donut. Donut disturb. Well, I, I am gonna disturb. Ooh, crispy. <laughs> what? Uh, this is like a coupon for a free donut. I, I hope we have a Krispy Kreme here in the Netherlands. <laughs> she gave me a coupon for a free donut. What a good friend you are, Emma. <laughs> That's really cute. What a fun idea. Oh, thank you so much. I cannot wait to read that letter of yours. You're spoiling me, lady. Uh, by the way, Emma also has a YouTube channel. I will link it down below. If any of you who have sent me mail also have a YouTube channel, uh, feel free to tell me in an email or something so I can link you as well. I would be happy to uh, send some uh, subscribers your way. Ooh, that's really good. It smells a little bit like cinnamon. Oh, that's nice and sweet. I'm glad I added a little bit of extra coffee, otherwise it would have been more like hot chocolate-like. But with the amount of coffee in there, it's really, really good. I like this. I didn't know if I would like gingerbread. For some reason, I thought I wouldn't, but it's actually really good. Thank you so much, Beckett. Oh, I'm going to enjoy this cup. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to enjoy that. And then I have another one which I already opened yesterday. This one is from Sam, if I remember correctly. Yes, Sam. And if you are Sam, close your ears for a few seconds, okay? Because I have just dropped off a reply letter to Sam, um, to her pre a reply to her previous meal. So hopefully, I, I literally dropped it in the mail when I dropped off that package that I was talking about so it could be there in two weeks or in four or I don't know hopefully it'll be there very very soon but she sent me a lovely second mail a lovely lovely flip book and uh, again beautiful hello on the front and a cute washi type design I really wonder where you guys get all of those washies and then the goodies she included like I said I already uh, took a peek at this yesterday. This is really really pretty. Look at this Look at these uh, like planner stickers Look how colorful and look how beautiful these tick boxes are and I can see here this one This says sticky club and I know that that's a subscription box And I wonder if all of these are from the sticky club because I would be that would be really, really cool <laughs> because that's something I don't even know if I can order that, um, but I would be very happy to. Um, I don't know, I'm happy with everything, but it's just cool to also know where it comes from sometimes. So we have all of these, um, I think you call these like boxes or something when you have like an actual planner. I, I use a bullet journal, but I can use these for decorating. And then little um, tick boxes and beautiful different ones that I will for sure use because like I said, I have a bullet journal. It doesn't have lines, it just has dots. So these are perfect for writing my to-do lists on or next to really, really beautiful. I'm like a magpie whenever it's colorful and shimmery, I go all excited. And then these cute little um, icon stickers as well. 
So thank you so much for sharing that with me, Sam. Also, these stickers you used to decorate. How clever is that? She used like a little floral sticker and then she drew the leaves herself. And then next page. Mm, these are like mm, sticky or memo sheet sticky notes from the Sticky Club. Look how colorful they are. They're gold foiled and really cute. And I think I want to use these for um, address labels again. I say that all the time, but it just excites me when I see stuff like that to immediately have ideas about what I want to use it for. And then um, these cute cat stickers, <laughs> really, really funny. They have some sort of a watercolor, um, how do you call it, ombre effect. And they're all like grumpy cats which is very adorable and a cute little shaped paper clip which I always like I'll just put this in here for a second and then a beautiful photo she took from uh, a little fall image the little apple that she found in some orange leaves I really like that idea this is so clever I, I my printer cannot really print photos the quality is not really good enough um, but I love this idea. I hope you guys can also get some inspiration of using a photo from your real life to create a collage, to create some sort of a themed page. I hope that makes sense. And then this cute little um, envelope, it says handmade, handmade DIYs. And I got an email, oh I have to tell you guys this. I, I sometimes get emails from subscribers. I don't always reply to them in length, but I do read all of them. So know that I appreciate that. And I got a, a subscriber mail and, um, from Izzy and it said that I always, well, she, we talked about a lot of things, but one of the things she said was that I always say, I always say DIY. So do yourself it instead of DIY. And I never actually realized because this, the I and the Y sound so similar to me. I did never realize that I flipped those, but it's a DIY, like do it yourself. I know what it means, but I just always got it wrong. And it's a cute little uh, envelope that you can open like this. And then she made me some more washi tape. And I remember that she also did that in her previous mail. And I really like that idea. So I can use these to decorate. Uh, and I'm for sure going to use these to decorate the pen pal journal. I keep talking about it. I never actually make time to work in it, <laughs> but it's going to be so full once I try to put everything in there. So she made cute little washi types for me with uh, gemstones or diamonds. And it, this says lol, lol. And this is the, I think this is the airmail color stripes. So there's a fun idea of creating some uh, washi tape yourself and then this flips open like that and then she made another pretty collage and here is her letter to me which I also really like because I don't want to show you the letter but look she folded it and it's a little booklet I don't want to show you too much of that either but I just thought that was a fun idea and then here on the back she made a uh, watercolor how do you call that I don't know how you call this like no, I don't know how to call this, but it's a watercolor background. I'm just gonna call it like that. And then she wrote smile on there with a um, brush pen. Wow, I'm really lost for words today. With a brush pen, brush pen. So that's really pretty. And that will look very good <laughs> in my pen value journal as well. I'm going to stop saying this now, okay? Mm. Ah, that is actually doing me a lot of good. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. But also when I'm at work, we had to work, we worked 10 hours from nine to seven last Saturday and I was pretty exhausted. And then I made myself and a coworker a cup of hot cocoa with like actual cacao. And that is, sorry, my battery died again. And that is so comforting and that really gives you the energy you need. So that is what this reminds me of, even though I haven't done that much yet today. Oh no, are you being dramatic lady? Are you being dramatic? Are you being dramatic? No. Nus would like to say hello to you people of the internet. <laughs> She's meowing very dramatically on the floor. Oh man. Put the no no, she wanted to have attention then. Okay. Hashtag rejected. 
She was meowing at me like, oh man, put away the camera and give you some attention. Okay, now I have two more. Am I saying that correctly? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, two more. This one and this huge package. Um, okay, I'm going to open the package first and then this one because it has a bow in it. And I think I can learn with that. But okay, we have this packet. It says small packet, but it's pretty big in my opinion. Unfortunately, it was, um, how do you say that? Flattened in the mail, but as you can see, it was still, I think everything is still in there because the tape covered everything really, really well. I have to take a peek. This one is from Camille. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Camille from Canada. And this is my first time actually receiving a box. That is so exciting. I really hope it didn't cost you uh, an organ or something, but I'm very excited to see what is in here. First of all, she covered it up with this cute drawing. It says, Plant Lady is the new cat lady. And that's adorable. It's a little cat cactus. Cat, cat, cat. I cannot, I'm not gonna try. So I'm just gonna open it now. Oh, but I'm afraid they really mishandled it in shipping, but I hope everything in here is intact. This is really exciting. I don't actually think I've ever received a box in mail in general. <laughs> oh, 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 there's a message on here. It says Vivian, don't ask yourself what the world needs. Ask yourself what makes you come alive and then do that because what the world needs is people who have come alive. Oh. Oh, <laughs> she decorated the box as well. It says, hello, Vivian. Hello. Okay, I don't know. I should take it out, I think. But the fact that it is a box is already very exciting. Oh, some stuff came out. A little kitty sticker and a big sequin. Okay, so this was on the top. I don't know if it was actually meant to be on top or if that just came out. But she wrapped it with very pretty tissue paper and decorated it with a lot of stickers. I'm just going to carefully open it. Wow. Oh, I feel spoiled with a capital S. Spoiled. Okay. Let me move this aside. Ooh, I'm just going to start with the top. Wow, a meal. I'm going to open this cute gift baggie first. I love the polka dots. And if it is okay with you, I will gladly reuse <laughs> the gift bags. Oh, there's something. Ooh, puffy sticker just for you. Wow, that is a big puffy sticker. Oh my God. I want to take it out. Oh my God, look at that, you guys. That is, that's even puffier than the, the, pip, the pip sticks one. Wait, look. I can show you. Look how fat that is, how puffy. Oh my God. See, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like a little kid. This excites me so much and it also feels really nice to to press. I should put this in my bullet journal uh, so I can I can play with that whenever I'm stressed. Puffy sticker just for me. Thank you. That's really cool. And then we have this project lifeguard. I don't know where it came from. Sweet sunshine. Don't you love this mint green color? Very pretty. Oh, I don't even know this one a little decorated baggie with a, a few different washi types i love how you color coordinated this we have a green one a purple one and then this one with green and purple and it has little cacti in pots i hope you i don't want to get up every time but you have to see this and you i don't think i can show you this properly see that hmm so cute. Okay, and then we have this huge happy meal. I think it is a flip book. Wow. Ooh, and I, I'm also going to reuse that bag. 
I'm going to reuse everything. Um, wow, so we have, this is something I also did one time in a flipbook swap uh, video I did. It's, I actually really love receiving this. So she made a little shaker pocket on the front. This is so fun. I don't know, I'm a little kid, okay? Just ignore me for a while. And then here it says, hello Vivian, with pretty letter stickers. <laughs> people who love to eat are always the best people. I actually know this quote from Julia Child. It, Julia Child. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know her, but she's a famous uh, home cook. Oops, people who love to eat. I, I love eating, okay. <laughs> And then we have a bag, again a polka dot bag filled, stuffed with goodies. That's maybe where the where the Project Life card came from. Let me see if I got everything. And we have a pretty, uh, what is this called again? Patch, a pretty uh, butterfly patch, I think. Yeah, and you can iron this onto your clothes. But what I would want to do is have like a place in my future craft room where I can save all of these things and the pins and stuff you guys send me because I think it would be a waste to just iron it onto something because then if you have to get rid of the clothing you also get rid of the patch and then a beautiful uh, washi tape sample tag with succulents and cacti and uh, a shimmery black and gold Woo. and handmade stickers and die cuts Whoa. Oh, what a pretty envelope. It's like scalloped. Am I gonna take this out? I don't wanna rip it. Eek. Yes, okay. Oh, whoa. Oh, that's fun. All sorts of uh, circle stickers. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, flowers. Kitty. Oh, that's cute. I wonder. Someone once sent me a link to a machine that can help you make stickers. I forgot what it was called. I wonder if that's what you used or something else. Because I think not only me, but a lot of people would like to know how you made your own stickers. So cute. And then the next page is tea related. We have some deeply soothing relaxed tea that I can definitely use tonight. I have to work early in the morning. Oh, this is where the Project Life card came from. And I'm just gonna tuck it back. So I'm going to try that very soon as well. I really like all of these teas. We have, here it says tea and here it says sing and these little scrabble, uh, scrabble letters are so cute. I wonder, don't tell me where you got them because I'm on a no spend. And then this says tea party. And then we have an iced tea. <laughs> an iced tea recipe that's really cute and then here we have a pocket that says sing and some more goodies oh a, a playlist a playlist oh i have to admit i actually don't know any of these artists so i will gladly check them out hey here are a few of my favorite songs enjoy definitely will and then I love this page with the music paper. Oh, we're still going. Oh, oh, this is where the, okay, never mind. This is where the Project Life card came from. <laughs> I wonder how it got from inside the flipbook to on top of the package. That's really interesting. And then this is her letter that I will read afterwards, of course. And we have a lot more goodies. This is beautiful. I love how you did this decoration, like collage of two different papers and some golden stickers oh some airmail stickers this is inside the box you said look can you see her i hope you can there you go that's noose in the box i hope i showed noose just now and not uh, my boobs or something Ooh. Mm -hmm. and there we go are you okay noose are you having fun <laughs> There you go. You made me happy with your mail and Noose happy with the box. <laughs> I didn't set her up to do that. She just does that, okay? Not staged. Uh, hey, Maiske. Hello. Now I need to move the camera back. 
little loose intermezzo in between. I was busy opening this. I saw some airmail stickers. Airmail, first class, fragile. <laughs> these are really fun. I could put them, I, I wonder what would happen if I would put these on Dutch mail, if they would also accept that, like airmail from a different country, but I could definitely use them for decorating. <laughs> But I'm going to try that. I will see like airmail if that if that has the same effect as the Dutch one. And then a cute picture of your dogs, Piper and Ranger playing. Piper is on the left. Aww, <laughs> looks so happy. And then a lot of Project Life cards. Thank you so much. Sweet sunshine. I already saw that one. Love. Oh, I love the colors. This one. You make my heart sing. Ooh, these are great for decorating. The sun stretched out and touched our cheeks. Yeah, very pretty. Thank you for sharing that with me, by the way. <laughs> you guys are really, really generous. And then page flags, always really cute. And Piper again. Oh. What a cute, cute doggo. And then a picture of a boat. Our view from the dock at our cabin. Wow, that is amazing. That must be so relaxing. Cannot wait to read the letter and get to know you a little bit better. Better stick for oh, our planner stickers. Think, dream, plan. Love it. Oh, these, these designs are so cute. You really stuffed that pocket. I feel very, very spoiled and we're not even done. I have a letter here that I'm going to read and then handmade by Camille, September, 2018. Woo. <laughs> and then we're just going to tuck this back and then we have another, this is stickers. I already opened this, right? Yes, I think I already opened that. I'm getting confused by myself. And then we have another pretty bag. Wow, they are all so pretty. And again, with the scalloped top. I wonder if you did that yourself or if you bought them like that. And there's something with butterflies in here. Wow, this is like scrapbook paper. This one is especially beautiful. I love the blue ones in combination with the brownish. Very pretty. You really spoiled me. I feel so spoiled. See, I don't even have to buy supplies because I can use all of it. Please do not bend. I really hope it wasn't bent in mail because, well, like you saw, they weren't extremely careful with it, unfortunately. Ooh, what is this? It's something big. Oh my gosh, those are the... <laughs> the biggest sparkliest doilies ever. Wow. Oh, unfortunately, this one is a little bit bent. But these are all fine. Wow. These are really, really huge. How fun. This is perfect for like Christmas decorating. So she also gifted me some of these huge doilies, which I will gladly use to decorate. So, wow. Thank you so much for everything, Camille. I cannot wait to read that lovely letter of yours on the site to read afterwards. I'm really, really excited to get to know you a little bit better. And thank you again for this incredible package. As you can see, Noose also really liked the box. <laughs> the final one, which has a little a bell or something in it. I hope it's not something broken, but uh, I saved this one for a blast. This one is again from Australia and it is from Caitlin. Noose immediately ran, hello. I hope you can hear her meow. I wonder if she's interested in the bell. So Caitlin sent me this huge envelope with a doily design, which I really like. It says, hello dear, some cute fall stickers. And this I also like. You are amazing, you are brave, you are strong. Just going to have to find a way to open it carefully. Noose is looking interested, but uh, she's not usually into toys with bells and stuff. <coughs> She's just curious. Wow. Oh, I love that sticker. Wow. What a, what a huge bunch. Oh my gosh. Ooh. 
I don't know which one to open first. <laughs> I have that problem every time. This says T for two. Oh, my boyfriend will be glad. He's always complaining that I get all the mail and <laughs> he never gets mail. Oh, I cannot open this without ripping the bag. T for two. Oh, this is her favorite. It is English breakfast extra strong. Chamomile infusion green tea. Wow, you sent me so much. Organic green tea, wellness, hmm. and organic white tea, relax. Again, I love this. I will be drinking that one night after work. Thank you guys for sending all of your favorite teas. I'm going to try all of them. Ooh, which one next? Which one next, which one next? This one, the one with the kitty sticker. Again, a really, really cute gift bag. You guys excite me so much with all of the, the gift bags. And then when I open it, ooh, what is this? Mocha, yeah, more, more coffee. Ooh, you guys know me well. You send me tea and coffee. I'm a lucky lady, Italian espresso style and mocha Kenya style. And mocha is something different in different countries. Hmm, coffee bag. Whoa, that's something new. I thought this was instant coffee, but it's actually uh, like a, a little coffee filter. Okay, but like I said, mocha is something different in different countries because in the Netherlands, mocha, mocha, it's called mocha, it's, that's just a uh, type of coffee. And in, for example, Australia, mocha is chocolate coffee so i think i wonder what which one this is but i cannot wait to try that i've never actually tried tea bag coffee i mean coffee bags <laughs> so i'm really excited i will try that in a video as well mm. that's really exciting i've never heard of that and then we have another gift bag with a funny little ostrich on there and wow, are these all sticker sheets? Oh my goodness. You spoiled me rotten. You know where to look first. We have little puffy butterfly stickers, puffy cat stickers, more cat stickers, more butterflies. Oh my god, these are all stickers. Mm. I, yeah, I don't even know what to say. If these really cute sort of stamp like stickers, let's say there and thank you and handmade. And these really pretty label stickers. And again, I cannot call everything from Australia that is cute Kiki Kai, but this could be Kiki Kai. No, I'm just kidding. But these are really pretty uh, labels with unicorns and hearts, and I could definitely see these on some colorful envelopes. Some stars, a lot of cat stickers, a lot of um, emoji, already called emoji, I hope so, stickers, some Australian animal stickers. I love Australia. <laughs> some uh, jerk stickers, some bear stickers. Oh, yeah. Maybe I should just show them to sort of name everyone, but look at all these kitties. Oh, and then some Australian says, Good day, mate. No worries, how are you going? Oh my god, this brings me back. These are also really cute. Oh, Australia themed. Ah, oh, some cute desserts. I really like this. These are all, you have like the one in just the color and then and the same one but with glitters. More cats. Ooh, little flags. Wow, so many cat stickers. How did you find all of these? Some more animals. Oh, some cute kitties. Ooh, alpha stickers. You know, I love them. Some pretty um, craft stickers with uh, labels on them. Some dots. Wow. Dots and stars and hearts. And some more emoji stickers. Wow, look at that. Look at all of the stickers you've sent me. And I will gladly use them but i have to admit that i think i will also send some to other people if that is okay with you because i don't think i can actually use all of the stickers and it would be a waste if they were just in my stash forever but wow stickers and then this is the one with the bell and it has a beautiful uh, pink and botanical uh, envelope mm, with a k on the back I'm really curious to see what is that bell sound. I love how everything it has like slight Australia theme to it. Oh, oh, it's a little lucky cat. Okay, wait. I'm going to go at this one by one. So we have an Australia, like a koala napkin, a little magazine. A book of graph paper I found in a bargain bin in a news agent. They were just going to chalk it. Oh, that's so cool. Thank you. This is beautiful. I just said it right. I'm obsessed with <laughs> graph paper. You're really kind for thinking of me. 
when sending this. Okay. And then beautiful. Oh, it's a little bit. Uh, sorry. A beautiful. Uh, I think this was on the bag. A little die cut. And then. Oh wait. Hmm. Some kitty magazine clip outs. Cute face, that's you. <laughs> oh, this is really pretty paper. Look at that rose gold foiling. And this says hello. Again, some pretty magazine. <clears throat> and then some Project Life cards, all in the same style and color scheme. Look at this. Take your time just as you are. These would also, again, be perfect for that galaxy themed mail that I have been talking about since forever. That's really pretty. <laughs> Thank you so much for all of this. Oh, and how did I miss this? Collect beautiful moments. And then on the other side, this is where the, the bell comes from. It's a, <laughs> it's a lucky cat. A lucky cat um, keychain. Wow, lost a word there. And it, that's the one that makes the, the sound. And I can see Nose and she's looking at me. Like, woman, I'm not a dog, stop ringing at me. And then all of these cute washi types. So we have these shimmery ones, <clears throat> all of these tiny ones, and these colorful fruity ones. Oh, love the watermelon and the strawberry one and the cactus one. I don't know what is this. Little elephant. That's also really, really cute. Thank you for... <sighs> I feel like I say thank you all the time, but that's just how I feel, okay? Okay, no, so I stopped. I stopped. And then this is some origami. Wait, I'm a little bit afraid. Did I ruin this? Mm, I think it was. Oh no, I don't. Rem... Mm, I'm sorry. I don't. I think. I, I think it was meant to be some way, but it moved or something. And this is a little origami heart. How cute. And then email is good, but letters are better. So true. I want you all to remember that letters are better. This packet has double-sided tape on the edge to be used whenever you please. I found a six pack of these. Ooh, that's good. That's a good deal. Oh, so I can put it in. I get it. So you can put it in. Ah, you can put it in a journal or something. That's really clever. Oh, this is her letter. <clears throat> Some more journaling cards, questions and favorites. Do you find it hard to write the first letter? Always. Oh, these are really fun questions. I hope I can answer them. And then this is a tourist information and it says, I live here. Ooh, and this is her. Is this all a letter? I really hope so. Oh yes, a long letter. Oh my gosh, this letter is nine pages. That's so fun, Kylie. I cannot wait to read all of this. And I love your letter paper as well. Look how colorful. I don't want to show that on here. Oh, I cannot wait to read this. So exciting. Mm. And there's so much more. So we have, okay, this one first. These were commissioned by an Australian cafe chain when they got a new brand of coffee. Ian, they made me think of you as they are botanical. Ooh, oh, postcards. Ooh, these are all postcards. Jamaican, Jama Jamaica blue. Jamaica blue coffees. Hmm, ooh, these are pretty. Yeah, they are quite abstract and botanical. That's really cool though. I could totally see myself using these in like some, um, as like the front of a flip book or something. Some more origami. This is a little okay. This one is really recognizable. This is a little t shirt. I'm really sad, or maybe I'm just not getting it. Maybe this one was also folded. Maybe I messed it up. Mm. Sorry, you have to tell me what that one is. Um, and the little t shirt that's so funny. I'm not really good at origami. And then this one, wow, that must have taken you forever to get right. And then we have this pretty vintage envelope that says, I love cats. Wow. That is again packed. Oh, you really spoiled me. I already love the long letter and then all of the goodies. So you have these uh, drop shaped paper clips in black. 
these pretty flamingo shaped paper clips. That's really funny. Oh, I have to save these for a um, summer themed meal and then. But it is, of course, almost summer in Australia, so I could make summer themed meal now. And then all of these little clip outs. Little Van Gogh there. Oh, paintings. Mmm. Milk meisje. <laughs> the the Toro van Pisa, I don't know how to say that in English. Wow. <laughs> oh, love meal. Special delivery. What a fun little die cut. I don't think I can get this back in there perfectly. And then all of these die cuts. What a cute tag. Die cut. I think these all spell hello. <laughs> these little uh, watermelon slices. How fun! These will all make for some really, really colorful and fun meal. Ah. You guys have no idea. I think you might know a little bit how happy this makes me, but it's like I keep looking at everything and I cannot, for the life of me, remember that this is for me. I cannot. It doesn't sink in that you guys have sent these things for me to use and to enjoy and to craft with. And it's just one such a treat i see it say that all the time but it doesn't really sink in that you guys are doing this for me <laughs> i just i don't know mm. forever insecure i guess we have two more envelopes and this one is actually from the previous meal sorry i'm making such a mess again two more little envelopes and then we are through all of the p.o books meal i've been opening so much meal these days and then today is a Tuesday, so that is the first day after the weekend when our mail also arrives from like my my home mailbox. And wow, this caught my eye. That's beautiful. A beautiful sticker for fall mail. And all of these shimmery ones. Wow, these are so fun. I think I have some of these with the sweets as well. So that, that means that you know you got it right if I bought them myself as well. Same for these with the florals, watercolor florals. That means you know me well. Oh, little kitty, kitty stickers. Wow, this one looks so much like Noos. Except Noos has a little bit more white. But the eyes are perfect. And then we have all of these uh, little... Oh, that's actually pretty handy for weekly overviews. In my bullet journal. You're enough. This is going in my bullet journal this week. I'm just putting that aside. And then some pretty watercolor stickers. Wow, how did you manage to get all of that into this little baggie? This is from Kiki K. I I don't know why, but always when there's something that I cannot get here in the, in the Netherlands, it's extra special, like Kiki K. I I don't think they sell that here. So whenever I see something like that, it's just a little bit extra special these really beautiful watercolor like stickers i'm not weird i'm just limited edition totally true oh these are pretty oh i like the bicycle i'm a typical dutchie oh and a little flag paper clip oh an anxiety tracker i never even knew that existed attack no Ooh, that's handy. I keep saying ooh, 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 instead of cute, 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 and I'll say ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm a repeater. Some pretty <laughs> stickers. Mm. Coffee. I cannot adult today. Laundry today or naked tomorrow. These are all planner stickers. So we have a couple of kitties, and this one says water plants, which is actually what I have to do today. And then these. Honeysuckle Planning. I wonder if that's the name of the brand. And Lily, Lily and Lion. Thank you for your order. So these are like little uh, different planner icons. Really cute. This one with the braids. That's so cute. Thank you for sending those to me. I cannot. I'm actually really excited about that long letter. Like I don't mind when people send me a short letter, I don't want anyone to feel like, oh no, I sent you a short letter, I'm sorry. I don't want anyone, everything is okay. As long as you guys remember that everything is okay, then that's fine by me. Everything is okay. Long letters, short letters, 
but you should never ever feel like you have to apologize for a long letter. Oh, these are all stamps. Oh my gosh, this is exciting. Australia, Australia, Canada. Wow, I've never seen any of these. Where are these from? Australia again. Oh wow, did you collect all of these yourself? I actually still have some Australian stamps from when I lived there. Australia. With, there with uh, a koala, if I remember correctly. Australia, Australia, wow, these are really, really pretty. I want to try and get them off. I've been getting tips from you guys on how to get stamps off of the envelope. Some people say soak them in water, but I'm really afraid of doing that, like damaging the envelope. Other people say hold them, or my mom, for example, also says hold them above the steam from, for example, a kettle, and then they will let loose. Australia, wow, these are really pretty. Thank you so, so much. That's a lot of fun. Thank you so much for all of your kindness, of course, Caitlin, but also everyone that I have showed before, everyone that has uh, had their mail opened in the previous video I did, or one of the previous videos I did, or those of you who are watching this video, who are giving this video a thumbs up. Thank you all. I am blown away by all of your kindness. I am going to stop now because I'm rambling, but I just wanted you to know that it is very much appreciated. I hope you guys have an amazing day. I hope you received some meal today. I hope <laughs> everything is going great. And I hope to see you again very, very soon. I upload new videos Monday and Friday and sometimes in between. So have a great day and thank you for watching. Bye bye.